All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to VR Master League. Uh, hopefully, you guys in the chat there didn't go away after that amazing game there uh, that we just finished up between uh, Astro and Meta. That one was just crazy in the ending. Very competitive. It could have gone either way. Uh, but excited to say that we've got ourselves another match coming up. Well, right now, and as you can see. Uh, full of experienced players here, the veterans in both Zero and Creamy Milk. Now, some familiar faces, maybe in slightly different places than we were used to seeing in previous streams, or in previous seasons. Or I guess a little bit of both. But obviously, these two teams, super talented. Uh, for Zero, have struggled in that, that first week to get the wins, but they still definitely uh, impressed and showed some good things. Uh, we it's not going to stick around that way for too long. You know, they're going to get some wins at some point, and it's not going to be a surprise whatsoever as the weeks play out to see them uh, definitely right there at the top uh, with a lot of these other, you know, familiar uh, names, whether players or just the, uh, the teams themselves. So it's going to be fun to watch this one as we do get uh, Creamy Milk, formerly known as Just Milk, but doing their best as always up with the most unusual names. In fact, compared to some of the things that they were trying to go with for names, I'm actually quite happy with Premium Milk. It's the better option, believe me. Uh, but nonetheless, the Joust is out here and underway in this game. Of course, we have uh, all over here on Zeros and, well, trying to start with some ferocity. Let's see what happens. Rocks Titan going for it, but unable to get it through the Leo the Great, the Leo the Great wall on the defense, if nothing else. Now, the goalie was stunned out there, so it could have been a good opportunity had it not been for that interference by Leo. That said, a lot of interference being ran over on that blue area. And uh, just kind of back and forth here on the start. So we will uh, see what happens. Now, of course, for you guys are joining me today, hold the thought. There's the shot. Voodoo, 25, getting the two. And high five and the teammates. So zero, no longer at zero. They've got themselves a goal. Uh, but yes, on this cast at the moment, it's uh, so much for subtlety doing the camera work for us. So much for subtlety, of course. Another one of those bets. Gonna get him casting one day, I'm sure. But great player himself uh, of Lamplighters from season one. The claimed and famed. Maybe not as much though as the Crocodile de Lobster. Anyway, uh, Zenith, a very deep shot, but we'll just be taken back here. And uh, grabbed eventually again by Zenith, so he's just uh, maintaining that midline stability, trying to find his team some stability, as we see a lot of jostling of poor position between these two teams. And <laughs> Niza tap pass, maybe a little bit too uh, clever and too quick, because well, that took me off guard just about, much less his teammate there. Uh, but Sneaky Evil gets the disc back, one of our a great league moderators here in Season 2 of VRML. Always doing great work. Uh, right now his team trying to get uh, the goal and trying to work it in on the offensive end as a stun does come out from Callan. Now Leo with the clear and immediate boost, some nice re-grabs as well on that. So very effective and look at that right in the center of the goal. Fantastic clear, fantastic boost and the accuracy to cap it off. Milk with the juice. It Seven, makes six, sense, don't worry about it. 7.30 left here in the first uh, round. I see in the Twitch chat as well, some people uh, coming in from that, that last stream or the last match. I'll shout you out in a little bit as I can, but yeah, that was a fantastic one. Uh, Sneaky Evil here trying for a duck through move, a reset light one to Zenith, and oh, just gets the goal. Shepard, nice. almost a fantastic save though. So, uh, yeah, great anchor there from Zenith, but Shepard, the headbutt. Unfortunately, he was just a little bit too inside the goal, so it counted uh, the favor of zero. But, yeah, for those who aren't aware of Shepard, aside of being another one of our uh, many talented league casters, Shepard uh, is also a fantastic goalie and, again, very experienced player. But he's a just, yeah, great defender. And uh, Rox Titan trying to go for that defender aforementioned. Well, look at that. Zenith gets it again, this time taking it head on to Shepard, but denying the head butt. No ifs, and ors, or buts. I feel like I messed that up somehow. Probably. But you get the gist. 
Uh, so seven to three on the lead here. 4-0 as Milk launches out on this offense. A uh, bit of a ricocheted clear will actually result in a perfect pass, I suppose, uh, to Punitive. Now, eventually getting to the hands of Callan. Back to Leo the Great. Nice two-man game. Back and forth. Uh, they'll go for the goal, but no voodoo. Again, with a magic making uh, the lives of the offense a little bit tragic, I suppose, on that great grab. Voodoo. Yeah, nice one. Look, here comes the stacks. A little overshoot, but will eventually be retained, uh, perhaps, as that tap back goes to Voodoo. And now over here on the passing play, a very quick spin around. Oh, look at that. Whirling, dunk, uh, whirling around the barrier, rather, for the alley-oop dunk. That was fantastic on the delivery. And this is why uh, we get these high expectations for these type of matches with these types of rosters, because we know. We know that they know how to get it done, how to find that team play, how to get those extra grabs, and how to throw a little bit of steez, but also make it efficient. That efficient steez is I like the color, you know? You can throw in a 360, but it was still a great pass. It was still a good move to throw off and freeze the defenders and find the perfect pass, and all of that is just a joy to watch. Now, Punitive, well, he's been a joy to watch, nothing else than some of those uh, images that people have been Photoshopping lately. I'm not sure what the meme is yet, but I know Punitive, he's a big deal somehow. And I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what he does here in this game. Uh, now, right at the moment, oh, Voodoo, stop it. Only he can do the Voodoo like that. With another great grab uh, for right from behind. Oh, my goodness. Voodoo again. Forget it. I was trying to compliment him on the saves. All the meanwhile, he's like, forget that, Pally, because I got the offense. Uh, Voodoo at the moment has now gone unconscious. He is out of his mind. Two big saves in the last minute or two, and that big shot from me. Uh, excellent job from Voodoo. And Zero finding themselves here at the very nice uh, point advantage. Still four minutes remaining, a little bit above that, in fact, as Leo the Great does roll out. So Milk desperately needing to find some goals here. Just to cut off a little bit of this bleeding, because uh, there's a lot of points going through, but again, who else but Voodoo? And the stacks just as well. All the players from zero coming in hot. Now getting a disc first, distributing to Rocks. Rocks getting blocked by the defense of Shepard. Shepard, well, he does hurt those discs at every opportunity, doesn't he? Uh, so great grab from him. At the moment, though, it's punitive being stunned out and losing it to Rocks. Now a drop perhaps or maybe even a caster as skinny is just joining us at the moment i think you would be very much correct a random skinny has appeared and i couldn't be happier as this disc sails to the hands of kellen and kellen's gonna go in but food again that's his what fourth save fifth save he is absolutely insane right now yeah exactly four saves to his name just absolutely popping off tonight oh, just absolutely oh, denying any draft premium milk has put up so just great defense from voodoo just stopping those points what would have been a tight game is a game completely dominating right now by zero yeah i, I don't know how much because i know you were just casting uh, the match on uh, the other channel there but i don't know how much you've seen voodoo has definitely been a bit crazy for the last several minutes now and as you can see zero despite the fact that they you know struggled to get a win in that first week i mean at the moment at least they're in very good position as voodoo continues the mission 14 points here to three yeah definitely as as we see generally even possession times for both teams just voodoo absolutely popping off this first round and definitely just about ready to secure the first round for Zero. Yeah, the clock definitely ticking. Uh, for Zero, I, they definitely have a lot of momentum. Uh, build a show right here once again. And they just need to maintain some control now, and, I, and they will be good. Uh, not only for the purposes of this round, but even the next one as they go for a nice pass up high. And Rocks just gradually. Uh, a great juke by, a great juke by Zenith to open. Just a clear cross pass to Rock Fighting, who just walks it in and dunks it. Yeah, they're, you can tell they're feeling good uh, at, that, at this point. I mean, the point total is going to be very conducive to a win here uh, for Zero in round one. So you can see, yeah, some of the, the attempts now going for a little bit more style, a little bit more breeze in there. And uh, just got to be careful because we know sometimes if you do that a little too much, that can not play to your benefit. Maybe if you go into the next round, you know, scores are reset. And then suddenly, is that 
disc almost goes in again. And suddenly you can find yourselves just all kinds of, of uh, off rhythm. Yeah, definitely. Um, cleaning up, definitely needing this um, second round to definitely reset their mind. Just this game is so momentum based that I, even at this court here, you're good, some good morale here go, going into the second round. Uh, that's going to be important if they want to keep get the momentum and keep it for the second. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, four zero here with just a minute left. Yeah, the, the win is going to be uh, in their favor, but uh, we, we know what Milk is uh, capable of. We've seen it time and again. I know the roster is slightly different now. Actually, you're going to have to answer a question for me. Is uh, is punitive? Who's punitive? <laughs> from what I've heard. From what I've heard. Okay. From what I've heard. I think he's a he's a new, oh, he's nowhere to the hold competitive on. This, scene, is, but... this is the oh my Joker God. train. I gotta I gotta cut you off there. <laughs> uh, Classic. So, there. We're gonna we're gonna. I think we get royalties from that. I get royalties from that one. Oh boy. Well, it's in the mail, I guess. But sorry. So punitive. You're saying uh, newer player then? Yeah, new. Nowhere to the competitive team, but I believe he's been here for a while, a few years actually. So yeah, great to how see him I, play. How did I not? I don't. I don't feel like I've gotten in matches with him before. I mean, the name is hey, get her, get familiar around. in a sense, but not yeah. familiar to obviously yeah. the, the the competitive team, like you said. So I was wondering because I've seen borderline memes made of him all across the different echo channels the last few days, and I'm just wondering <laughs> what happened. What did yeah, I miss? I, saw this. I, I don't know to be honest with you. I kind of just saw them popping around, so <laughs> great to see him play, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> I don't go that way. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well. Um, yeah, so the first round, anyway, it's going to end in favor here of Zero. A very big win for them, but they need to do it again. And as I did mention before, uh, I would be a little bit careful. Obviously, getting those kind of uh, hot doggy plays feel good. They, they can definitely boost momentum, but if you're not careful, because now... It's going to be zero to zero to start this second round, obviously. Uh, they can't play too loose, lest they start allowing that window to open up for Creamy Milk to make a return. Uh, and we all know, despite the fact that Creamy Milk only got that uh, five points here in this first round, uh, they're not a team to sleep on when it comes to the offense uh, whatsoever. Now we see it in these, in these streams lately, I'm trying to pull up their page perhaps, but uh last last couple of matches they played they, they were putting up you know 20 30 some points uh, across these these rounds so they can definitely pile it on fast yeah definitely knowing Callan, just <laughs> i can talk from experience that it's you cannot let him near near the three-pointer zone especially right that on eight, eight meter he's gonna score a nutty backboard right on the edge and it's gonna know you because he doesn't do anything else but somehow always gets it on me Yep. In fact, that, that first stream that we did of of Milk uh, last last either last week or week one, as this joust goes out and again, a nice alley oop here coming in from zero. But the last yeah, time great. I saw Callan, he he put on a show. Uh, he must have scored twenty some, I believe. Uh, it's crazy. But oh, yeah, just great positioning from zero, just absolutely denying any possessions, or especially just allowing Cream enough to just absolutely take free three pointers and. I think that's that that newer pressure Creamy Milk is experiencing is producing them some trouble tonight. Yeah, looks like it. Definitely uh, led heavily there by Voodoo, but really, as I mentioned, kind of in the last stream as well, uh, individual defense is definitely hard enough, but really as as a whole, uh, defense is so dependent on your entire team being able to work and uh, be in the right position. Yeah, exactly. It's a building block. You can't do some team play with Cannon actually securing and tying the game. Um, yeah, what was I going with my thought? Uh, yeah, yeah, you can't do team play if you don't win those personal battles, which yeah, takes a lot of skill, just fighting one-on-one, -on -one, punch trying to stun out um, your opponent, and then not only you have to position yourself perfectly so you don't get intercepted by the other opponent. It's definitely a difficult thing to, to grasp for most teams, especially when they're new, and even even teams who have a lot of experience, it's just it's one of those things that just does take that chemistry. Uh, you can definitely see it at the works here for Zero, and they're certainly continuing, you know, to to show a lot of promise as well as Creamy Milk for that matter. Uh, as now the disc gets retrieved eventually there by Voodoo, and Voodoo's gonna get stopped. Yeah, it's just great punching all around by Kalan and another great clear. So let's see how fast bo these both teams can create their stacks and get to the possession. First, and it does look like Creamy Milk is going to get advantage. Kind of another 1v1. He's able to secure two more points and take the lead. 
for creamy milk. Well, there you go. Uh, and just like that, only a couple minutes in, and milk already nearly at their uh, at their point total for that first round. And they only scored yeah, uh, five, and now they have four already here. Yeah, it definitely looks like creamy milk definitely taking the momentum of this game. So just yeah, first round doesn't matter because right now creamy milk has the momentum and they have the potential to bring it to the third round. So uh, let's see here what they're working with. I'm, I'm curious if Zero will continue to go to this kind of fast fast play, you know, with the, the dunks and the spins, things like that, or if they're going to try and go for the, the slowdowns. And, oh, there we go. That was some really nice patience from Rock Titan. Very nicely done. N nothing too fancy, just a little shot fake, and then he took it in. Yeah, definitely confusing to Kirby make players and myself to just clear him, clear his lane, making it from a 2 from a 3v2, 3v1 to a 1v1. Absolutely. So very bold but crafty at the same time. Uh, just able to really maneuver around all the defenders. That said, some nice maneuvering around here on the joust, but just barely uh, past the reach. That said, same with the goalie, Leo the Great there. Catching the goal open. Uh, a couple players mishandling the, the initial read, so Leo going to take full advantage. Yeah, Leo the Great with a great opportunity, 1v1 shot and extending his lead. Punitive there was actually punching out a defensive stack. Zero deployed and just absolutely allowing Leo Great to just walk it in. Yeah. And there you go, some milk now exceeding their scoring total from round one. And this is exactly what we told you. Uh, here we go, another steal perhaps will be knocked off the noggin instead. So back to zero, it will go. And they're going to reset here, play it a little slow. Yeah, definitely a good slowdown by zero. Definitely what they are comfortable in, but Shepard absolutely denying what was some great passing. And now again, Creamy Milk turning that speed up with a three-pointer opportunity, but just misses it off the backboard. But MC was able to recover and try and goes for the clear. Ah, see, we, we saw that in this last stream here, as that shot nearly goes in, but Voodoo's gonna guarantee it at the very least, right uh, at the last second. So it's tied up at six apiece. And yeah, that, that missed opportunity, that really is gonna hurt a little bit, at least for, for Milk's side, you gotta know, because yeah. it could have gone up by another three points there, but instead, now it's a tie. A great punish by Zero, just abs from absolutely denying um, that shot to quickly turning it over for so much. Two more points and the tie of the game and another great interception. That defense is like already closing in on them, but a great pass from Creamy Up, trying to speed that up, trying to put it down. And now Kalen is unfortunately going to lose possession of the defense. And uh, we'll see who retains here. Looks like a kind of mad scramble for it. Eventually getting back to it. And maybe going to find themselves some offense, perhaps. But Sneaky getting stunned here. Uh, Zenith still comes away with it. A fadeaway pass attempt, but the barrier very well covered. And uh, again, there's the stack. So many stuns and so many leeches. So at the end of the day, it will be Leo the Great coming away with it. Needs to shoot, get rid of that quickly. And look at that tap out by Voodoo, of course. Yeah, great. <laughs> Patience by Voodoo just... Great multitasking. Not only does, has, does he have to be heading towards the goal, he has to be watching that shot, which Callan shoots, but it's going a little bit too fast. And is able to, again, Creamy Myth able to take that lead again, just not allowing Zero to take the lead like in the first round. Yeah, they are definitely in a good rhythm. Now, Zero, it's not as if they're in a bad rhythm by any stretch. It's still a very close game, but Milk doing exactly what we knew that they could. And I went and did the math, by the way. I, Using a calculator, of course, because otherwise I can't. But uh, for Milk, in the last two games, the last two victories, four rounds total, so two sweeps, they scored 75 points combined. Uh, so, uh, yeah, they're not an offense to be trifled with ever. And they're they're showing it here against this talented team in Zero now. Yeah, Zero so definitely bringing here the correct strategy of slowing it down and finding a window is Zenith with a great underhand to score three points and steal the lead from Creamy Milk. Nice shot there by Zenith, Get, just barely securing the three. So very good awareness, just knowing where he was positioned on the floor, uh, feeling like, hey, one, I have a defender nearby me, so I don't have a lot of time to line it up. I'm gonna go for the slap. But number two, figuring out that, hey, I'm also right here on the edge. So if I get that slap, it's also gonna be a three point shot. So that's a beautiful patience, uh, or at least concentration, I should say, to get that. And then Phoenix is being, is being pressured in the tunnel, he's forced to clear, but Shepard is able to get it down to his teammates. Leo the Great trying to pass it. Good cross pass onto Phoenix. He's going to try to juke up. I'm going for the shot, but just a little bit low. But luckily, so is Kellen hanging down low by the wedge. Looking for that corner uh, play somewhat near to the backboard. Going to swing around, though. Leo the Great twirling and with a flourish finishes for the one point lead. 
Yeah, great placement. Aside from the whirly twirlies to confuse everyone, just great placement of the disc while while turning at the same time. And uh, quickly to check, because I've kind of ignored you for the last several minutes, but thanks for joining us again. See Galactic Drift in there, sitting robot, uh, Club, X-Wing, Mr. Cliffs, Andy W. Welcome all of you to the stream. Yeah, definitely. And then again, more slowdown of um, zero. Definitely, it's definitely is working out for them. And good job on them for correctly identifying that this slowdown and trying to thin out the creamy enough defense is working out. And a great cross pass, but great denial by Shepard, just absolutely putting it out. And now Leo the Great is able to catch that clear and trying to clear it for his team. But fortunately, it does get intercepted by Zenith. And another, we're gonna see another slowdown from zero. Yeah, that's sneaky. Over in that tunnel, you can see rocks by the cloud trying to take position. And then over on the pack uh, will be Voodoo. Voodoo going for that cross to Zenith. And that was some gorgeous disc movement. That passing play, precise, perfect. And it's a uh, goal here. One point advantage now for zero. And great positioning by Zenith. He only started moving towards the goal, confusing his, um, his assigned defender. And actually is able to get a um, good pass and this defender not able to respond and securing two more points, able to take back the lead. It's one point towards zero. Look at that passing from Milk now. They were really, uh, really evasive there on the stacks. That margin for error was so tight, but they still got it through. He units him. He's going to go through. Gets the defense. Again, we're right back to a one point advantage for the other team. It is just punch for punch, goal for goal, being traded off now these last few minutes. Yeah, what a great play by Kalen, just not only punching out the first one, but baiting the, that second zero player to, and a pass to Punitive, who's able to secure two points and the lead with one minute to go. This next score might define it. Don't worry, guys. Nightbot was, for the moment, unmodded. So he just, he shouts at you, but he can't do it. <laughs> now, if I have to change that, I will. Anyway, uh, over to the midline, clear a, a few boosts and nice redirects very quickly on the stack from zero. Well, we'll still collect it back. Uh, Callan trying to cash that check, perhaps, but no, uh, Rock's getting it. Uh, didn't check behind him and did have some time, so maybe a light miscommunication, but luckily zero will still retain. They're down by one. They're going to need to score very, very soon here, or else might be looking at that third. He was great with a great punch and actually passes it to Callan, who's going to secure this two more points, and that is round two going towards Creamy Milk. Just what a back and forth game and great punch from uh, started by Leo the Great to allow Creamy Milk to secure the second round. Yeah, I, there, I mean, there will be a very, very slight slim chance here that's something, but I, I mean, if they, even if they get the, 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 the tap clear, oh, yeah. they should be fine. Um, Ew, oh jeez! Oh well, see, those are. This is why we say wait until the buzzer's done because that had milk. Uh, anyway, all right. So <laughs> yeah. we're gonna go to the score screen. I'm very glad to say though that we have a, ourselves a third round. Uh, the matches so far this week, all in all, uh, they've been pretty fun to watch, pretty even. And I'm glad we're we're getting those third rounds. We're getting those overtimes. We just saw one in the last stream uh, on Monday. I think we, yesterday we had two overtimes i want to say so we're seeing a lot of good stuff now as uh, i think the rankings continue to even out and this is this is fun really fun yeah there was actually an overtime in the game i just cast it over in vrml3 so yeah nice. and what, what a great pace of change for creamy milk from what 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 we thought was gonna be a clear um and two rounder for zero just at creamy milk turning the speed up and putting the pressure on now on zero yeah doing just wonderful work on that end so yeah that round three gonna come up here real soon hopefully hopefully i think our stats may or may not have gotten stuck there looks like on the the stream potentially but i can read them for you on this end um yeah we got, a little bit behind so. we got 11 points here for voodoo nonetheless uh as well as his six saves, we're going to the third round to start, so i got to get through this quick. Over on the other side, it's 13 to Callan. Uh, a lot of assists, five saves for Shepard. These yeah, teams, they're up. They're underway. This is round three. Let's go. So now Zero with another great um, uh, another great joust, but unfortunately just a little bit of mess of play, but it doesn't matter. Rox is there to recover for his team and reset it. 
Uh, sneaky Evil over at the pack area, taking that disc and just going to spin it around in his hands, looking for some options. Zenith there, uh, trying for the up high pass, but no one there uh, to retrieve. So instead, some boosts and good stuns as well coming through. Uh, enables Voodoo to get this disc right back. A beautiful cross right back and on that attack. Look at the spin and the shots uh, with some efficiencies. Indeed, it's two to zero from uh, zero. Yeah, what a, a great pass by Sneaky Evil. Just and Shepard not able to do much. He couldn't jump out of goal because then Sneaky Evil could have um, thrown a three pointer in and just seen it in that picture perfect distance where he can just dunk it as soon as he receives the pass. Honestly, some of these cross pass plays we've seen where we're just hitting those cutters so perfectly for zero across all the matches thus far as a shot just strang off. Uh, will be rebounded from Leo and great pass. Oh, trying for the zero, but you know what? Saved the day himself. Uh, almost a blunder, but Callan's still getting the goal. There's uh, two <laughs> points now on the board for Milk. No, no spilled milk that time. Uh, slight. It was definitely a blunder, but <laughs> definitely Callan able <laughs> there to clean it up and uh, tie up very, the game too. <laughs> tie up, yeah, tie up the game one minute <laughs> and thirty seconds in. That, that was about to make Shaq in the pool. So very, very lucky on uh, Milk's part. So yeah, it is. Zero trying to push it up. Yeah, more, more, more of that slow play we like to see from them. Definitely, um, it's worked there in the in this first round, and it's gonna, it's worked for them in the second round. But just they gotta prevent Creamy Milk from speeding it up, trying to clear, it, trying to um, go for that boost and clear strategy. And Rocks with another great pass is gonna and enable Zenith to go for two pointers and take the lead. We can see it from both teams here, both really trying to optimize and, and prioritize that backboard play. Uh, going for passes in that general area, it's very, very difficult uh, to save that as a goalie. And even even if you don't shoot it immediately off the, uh, the backboard pass, you know, just making that pass will cause, again, the defenders to turn around, the goalie to turn around, have to address. And then should another cross pass come out to the front of the goal right after that, you're just making the defense get off balance and turn around yet again. So that's kind of why you see this you know, cross, uh, cross passing play, as we call it, whether it's side to side or even front to back in terms of you know, that, that backboard to uh, barrier area. Uh, it's, it's very much with intent that, that these teams do these things. And that does look like Zero is going to be have that free three pointer given to them. Just great stack and great response to not only steal it, but able to get that stack almost instantly and score another three points and extend their lead to a five-point game. Yeah, so Zero coming back a little bit more with that uh, fundamental play that we saw in that first round. And I, I know I saw Andy comment on it a little bit there as this round began. And yeah, it was kind of what we were saying as, as well uh, as that first round ended because they did start getting a little bit, uh, dare I say, a little bit Joker-esque with some of the, you know, the Stees where, okay, we're, we're up ahead good, so we can just start going for the Joker trains and the swing dunks and, thing, and the 360 shots. But as we know and have seen, sometimes it doesn't always play to your favor because then you're not really executing fundamentally anymore, and then suddenly the other team is allowed to come back. Yeah, definitely kind of not taking any, <laughs> any time off and just trying to close that lead in. Good two-pointer by him, just... Definitely not wasting time. They still have six minutes to go to try to tie up that game. Yeah, great shot there by Callan. You uh, shouted him out earlier as that uh, really great score striker, able to really hit from multiple angles and especially on, the, on those deep threes. Uh, really get it done from anywhere. Yeah, great triple stack by uh, Creamy Milk. Forces a bad clear from zero and is able, Creamy Milk is able to gain possession of that. Unfortunately, a bad shot is going to enable just just one single mistake is going to enable Zero to regain possession of the disc, and now Zero is trying to go for the clear. Yeah, and they do get it pretty successfully. There's the immediate stack as well, coming through with some fire. So Voodoo, he was the man on fire earlier on with the defense, but Shepard showing his own defense. A nice grab on the disc, a nice clear. Uh, can they get the redirected boost? Oh, uh, just barely getting there in time, able to maybe knock it loose, and hopefully for him, back to his teammate's hands, but uh, no, actually yes. Yeah, good forward uh, play by Shepard to just deny that shot, but again, Zero there on the end of the tunnel, ready to steal it. Zenith going for that three-pointer, but just digs it on the side of the goal, just missed the opportunity, but it doesn't matter what's there, able to recover it, throws it almost immediately to, again, extend their lead to a six-point game. Well, that was a soft shot and almost saveable. Just, you can see the defender there, right at the fingertips, just trying, just trying to uh, grab it. Couldn't get it done, but... 
Yeah, that, that, that was almost savable. Uh, but with less than five minutes left, zero. If they can uh, keep the control here, they may have themselves indeed a great win, but yeah, still some time left. Yeah, zero, zero trying to go for the defensive play, but that allows Creamino to play aggressively, but Fudua can deny any advances on Green and Milk. Great drive by Green and Milk, but just absolutely denied by Voodoo tonight. Absolutely. We already know Voodoo to be a great player, but suffice to say, at least in this in this match, I'm turning it up to another level. You can definitely tell he was in a great rhythm on both ends of the floor. So, uh, to shout that out, but here's Punitive looking for a very deep delivery. Look at that immediate slap. Uh, huge pass in a very, very tight traffic situation, and somehow Kellen got it in. Yeah, Sneak Evil was on him, but not able to get the punch quick enough. Yeah, that was probably, he, Kellen had a window of probably half a second less to pull off that shot and is able to get it. Four point game, three minutes and 46 <laughs> seconds to go. Cream and Milk still very much in it. Yeah, that, was, that was just silly, but in a very, very good way. Uh, at the moment, Sneaky may be finding himself in a very good way. Indeed, he is. Takes that one on one, driving it directly to the from? goal. They're back up here by six points. Yeah, definitely good response. Not able to get the punch last time, but definitely able to score two more points to again extend their lead to a six point game. Yeah, and uh, as they launch out here, will be the handsome milk. They do not want to. Ideally for them, they don't want to cause any more turnovers or have any turnovers because as we approach these last three minutes, uh, any mistakes are going to be all the more punishing. And, well, there it is, the uh, retainment of that disc to Sneaky Evil. They're going to go for a clear. That said, just tossing it away to Shepard's hands. And Shepard now with some available options on every side of the floor. Up, down, left and right, but not coming away with that initial uh, pass. Still yet in the second attempt, it will be good. So four-point game again here off of some nice plays from Shepard and Milk. Yeah, unfortunately, zero on that double sack a little bit too early. Maybe they think they thought that we're going to try to get possession, but Shepard able to recover quickly enough. Good pass onto the back forward and just Callan able to secure two points. And again, it's a four-point game and two minutes and 30 seconds. It's becoming to the point where Cream Milk cannot allow zero milk to um, or zero, zero, <laughs> zero milk. Zero to score. I think, I think we, we call that low fat milk or something. I'm not sure, but uh, Sneaky Evil, I'm just going to back pass it out. Very wise move here considering the time and the score advantage. Uh, they're going to go up for a, a pass down the lane and gets it right into the feet there. It's seen it. 14 to 8. Yeah, some great plays by Zero, just absolutely denying any good plays from Creamy Milk right now. It was, how, how long have we been in a six point difference for, I think it's been around close to six minutes at this point. Just good job on zero from trying to slow it. Not not exactly gaining some ground, but not losing any and being in, in a very comfortable position right now. That was a very uncomfortable uh, position there for Milk, almost losing the disc on that initial launch. Still might yet, and they do, so Voodoo retains, it goes for that corner clear. It's the little things like that. Honestly, most people are gonna watch that and say, you know, it was a non-event. Hold on, because that is a big event. Sneaky Evil open through that vent. 17 points to 8. And that is uh, very likely some ice in that mill. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> what a great shot from Sneaky. Just absolutely zeroed out and straight in the middle. I think with one minute to go, that... that uh, I think all Zero have to do is just prevent any further three-pointers. And that might be... Round two and set that for zero. What the? Yeah, that was fucking yeah. dumb. We'll be collecting hey, the rocks, Titan. Bastard. Well, here we go. Nice. Uh, block. Oh, no. Rocks. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's 19 to 8. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think you could do that, I don't know if you can. I don't know if Chad could hear the in game calls, but Shepard asked to be in goal. Rocks allowed it and just to BM him a little bit more to score it right in front of his face. Well, Rocks Titan, yeah, not not one to shy away from uh, this D's play at, at this point in time. Well, they can afford right. it. Now you're doing it on purpose. So that will be right, the match indeed, going. no matter what happens here. No idea what you're I do want to get back really quick. No clue whatsoever. I, I think I forgot it earlier. Uh, and then my day That clear from Voodoo. He immediately cleared it from uh, one corner okay. to the other. Uh, I just I like that move because I always emphasize this as maybe one more shot comes through, perhaps. Yes, yes, indeed. Oh, no, Z. Yeah, 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 but he did. 21 to but this is one of the important things yeah, like when you watch these games, especially the newer rookie teams and such. Uh, one of those subtle things I want to point out because it's important. 
you know, you see good positioning from midfielders where, say you're playing midfield, a disc is kind of knocked loose, uh, cleared somewhere, bounces around, and both teams have maybe one or two players about to dive on the disc. So as a midfielder, you want to typically go in the lane nearest to that lane because you figure, okay, if that disc is going to be slap cleared or whatever, it's probably going to go to this direction because it's closest, you know, to that player who's about to grab the disc. So that's one thing you want to point out. But then Voodoo on that other one earlier, kind of recognizing that he still had the presence of mind, even though it was more difficult to go for the corner clear onto the opposite tunnel uh, furthest away from him, which anyway, I know I'm kind of dwelling on that point. Not important. Game's over, but I just wanted to say because it's a little thing that can really help uh, players positionally, you know, and, and improve their game in big strides. Uh, but yeah. So I'm going to stop now. Skinny, stats. Absolutely. No, just um, just all around team play for uh, the board is not updated. So I'll kind of read them from my screen. So just, I'm, I, you guys can't see, but just Callan absolutely popping off this last two rounds. 21 points to his name. And Shepard just all around consistent player with four assists and five saves to his name. Again, probably MVP of this game. And this first round goes to Voodoo with a total of seven saves this set and 11 points to his name but sneak evil with 10 points rocks titan with 11 points and zenith with 17 points just all around good good spread of um points and just n no clear dominant player and just all around well balanced team yeah definitely a fantastic job this is what uh, we were complimenting when casting zero in week one definitely is the fact that they are just a very complete team we we saw the offense Okay, we saw great offense. We saw great stacking speed. We saw amazing passing. And I mean, really, really high tier passing. Uh, as good as I think any team I've seen in some of those plays were just phenomenal. And we saw the defense as well. You know, we saw the goalkeeping. I mean, it's a little bit of everything. Uh, so with the, their first win here on the season, uh, of course, for zero, they uh, only came into the season on uh, week two. So they, did, they didn't play those matches in week one. But, but yeah, they will claim their first win, and it was a very, very strong one. Uh, Milk put up a great fight. That being said, they're a team who's, you know, constantly right up there uh, over the course of Season 1. Now, here in Season 2, they're going to still be right there at the top, uh, right with those teams like Zero and, you know, other Master and, and Gold, uh, Master and, and uh, Diamond teams. And, but, you know, right, right, uh, going the right way of Zero. And just uh, hats off to them for a very, very entertaining round and then series overall. So, <laughs> yeah, I think everything was let out there. I don't think I have nothing else to add here. Okay, well, yeah, I'm just pulling up a real quick schedule, and we see, uh, we've got the next match, I, I believe, in 20 minutes. Uh, Something around get that. this open in time. And okay, indeed. So yeah, next match on the books will be uh, Proto Star. For, uh, facing off against Toxin. Uh, that's going to be a one to watch because Protostar, a, a team with again some uh, a mix of kind of uh, familiar and unfamiliar faces, but nonetheless, some good experience on Protostar's team facing off against Toxin, the increasingly impressive rookie team who just keeps showing up against these experienced players. This is their third straight match where they're going up against a handful of, uh, you know, PC players who have played in multiple seasons and multiple months and years. And Toxin is impressed in every single one of them. So that's going to be one to watch in another uh, yeah, 17 minutes from now. Following that, directly after, will be Synapse versus uh, Creamy Milk. So I'm going to see a little bit more of them later. But until then, I think that'll do it for us. So we'll be back in 20. I've been Palador. That's been Skinny. 229 some of the time. And so much for subtlety on the cameras. Uh, thanks. Twitch chat for all the uh, hype and excitement and Sputnik in there with all the emojis. Uh, yes, been fun. Uh, be happy, healthy, safe, and we'll see you again pretty dang soon. We'll be right back.
the VR Master League Season 1 European Championships, and in an unexpected turn of events, it was the pop-up team of elite players in Washed Up taking the fight to the defending preseason champions, Team Gravity, in this Grand Finals Best of Five. Starting off round one, it's the defensive anchors of Washed Up, cleaning up drive after drive. It's Finn with the steals, Taco on Thursday with the hard-shelled defense all day, and then Boop with a swipe and a splash of his own. The man does not miss. With time running out, it's bad internet BTW with the good connection to Boop for the assist off the steal. Tuned in, and gravity falls. In round two, it's Team Gravity washing away the troubles of yester round with a whirlwind. Now Washed Up leads 5-2 with six minutes remaining, and that's the last time they score in the round. Team Gravity piles it on with defensive clamps and offensive stamps. Every player for Team Gravity getting involved on both ends of the floor. It's Al Pacino assisting Louie twice in a row off of some timely boost. Forget FTL, we measure by FTG around these parts faster than Gravity. Then Viatrex with the Viatrix, the flicks, then he sticks the assist to Simon in what was a swing round for Team Gravity with a swing around dunk. Team Gravity scores 15 straight to take round two. Round three, it's an assist and two goals in a row for Boop. Washed up goes up by six. But then the Louisville slugger, it's Louis brawling Taco near the goal to gift wrap Viatrex an open three and he was nailing those across all the matches. Washed up responds with steady team play. It's bad internet with the underhanded tactics and he's a bad, bad man. Up by six again, with the clock starting to run down. But then it's gravity manipulating time and space like heroes in the clutch. It's Simon and Louie feeding each other assists on consecutive plays. Then with 20 seconds left, watch this. A turnover and then a phenomenal pass. Simon threading a needle over to Viatrex, telling him to find this, and then the finest shot placement you will ever see. Viatrex, the post goal finger guns, and they're gunning for overtime. Off the joust, it's Team Gravity with possession off a delayed stack. Al Pacino packing in two important stuns, and then Viatrex rewarding him with the round-winning goal. Narrowly, and I mean narrowly, evading the hands of Finn, who's been locked on with the steals in the entire playoff race. A thriller of a comeback leading into round four, where it's a round flourish from Taco, putting the defense through the spin cycle and keeping washed up alive in this must win. But then it's Simon and Louis, the dynamos of Team Gravity, tying it up and then blowing up on the defense before blowing by with the agile stack and the three point bomb with 50 seconds left. With Washed Up in Dangerous Waters, Louis and Viatrex pair up for one more steal, stun, and the battle is done. After a grueling grand finals and a nine round epic between these two teams on the day, Team Gravity claim their spot on the throne as your VRML European Champions of Season 1.
one North American Championships of VRML Echo Arena, featuring the high chemistry Kangorillas versus the controlled chaos that is Team Joker in a masterclass clash of titans. Opening up this best of five, it's the best of dives from Jay Walker, the midfield menace, and then Kong stacked with Skinny for the undercut and cleanup. Other side, it's Strem with a stack, Jack, and Hammer right back, laying the foundation. But steal or no steal, that's the name of the game here as both teams jostle for position. Eventually, Kong recovers and sends a zipper of a shot and hits it through the wickets of the thickets of Kango defenders. Final minute, Joker up by a few and ending the round the same way they began. Jay Walker the midfield steal, then Kung stacked with Skinny, who stepped up big as a start time substitute for Ryan 8, being assisted on a dunking pirouette as the sun sets on round one. Round two, it's Kung on an island with the SOS, save on shot. Then SOS, stun on Strem, following that amazing catch, then using him as an anchor to dive in for the score. Round two becomes a series of two-point trades, but for a team like the Kangorillas, it's less of a trade and more like a bargain, always at home in the two-point zone. Every Kang player gets at least one goal and one assist in this round, and with 30 seconds left in a tie, it's Strembitsky uncontested down the floor thanks to stuns from Loveridge and Mad, enabling the shot fake, the make as Kang takes. Round two by two. In round three, no shocker, it's Jay Walker, again in the midfield with a Joker card up his sleeve with the no hesitation slap shot. But then Strembitsky slaps back with a laser guide and laser focus, shooting through the always tense defense from Dash. If that wasn't crazy enough, now it turns into madness. It's a show-stopping, shot-stopping clinic from Mad. There's strike one, strike two, strike three, all struck out by Mad in a one-minute span. I've got no explanation, only exclamation, and sealable bag. A fan of Mad, no doubt, fans the flames some more with a two-point score. But never one to be left out, Strembitsky picks the pocket and then converts some loose change, another tunnel shot, and Strem was hot in this series. With Joker down by three and only seconds remaining, a crucial leech and stun from Mad puts a halt to any attempt. Let it be known the Orange Zone is now the realm of the Mad God. With Kangorillas up two to one on the series and pressing into a pivotal fourth round, Strambitsky continues his tunnel vision with a tunnel shot. Then Sealable Bag comes in with the stealable grab to clean up the next. Then welcome back to Mad TV. It's Mad showing the in goal improv with a double dose of dense defense. And then Loveridge comes in here on the third. But breaking through the firewall, guess who? It's Ryan 8 returning onto the Team Joker roster for this round with the anchor three. Two thirds to the round and Kangorilla's up by four. Loveridge goes for the pick and the punch, but Jay Walker shields it. Disc bounces off his head fast, followed by the steadfast shot to cut Kangorilla's lead to one. Then in the final minute of the round, it's Dash excelling for the big steal and assist to Ryan. Mad stunned out by Kung, and this ends up deadlocking the series at two apiece. So it all comes down to a decisive fifth round, and in the search for the ring, it's the return of the Kang. A deep cut from Loveridge to draw first blood. But then it's the return of the Kung. King Kung going primal on offense with gold goal after goal, giving Kangorillas no breaks, then putting on his breaks on this play. It's Joker's Wild, and Ryan loves it. Love hits you when you least expect it, though, but then there's Kung with a behind-the-back no-look fling to Ryan and Dash securing the goal. Team Joker up by six, nearing the final minute, but then sealed the bag, forcing a critical turnover, maybe a glimmer of hope. It's Loveridge, an original Kangorillas member from 2017 with the 2020 vision on the assist. It's a four-point game, but time is dwindling. It's Team Joker. After their two-year rise to prominence, with the Royal Flush. Once the Jokers, and now the Kings, and your Echo Arena champions of North America here in Season 1 of VRML.
Hey everybody, welcome back to VR Master League. Little bit of a break there, not too long though, uh, off of those great matches, back-to-back -back matches we just uh, saw here earlier on in the day. Uh, following, of course, that Creamy Milk and Zero game just now, but we're moving right along now to uh, another intriguing game, as uh, quite often is the case, especially when you have any of these, uh, you know, newer newer names involved. Now, of course, we see some familiar faces over there on Protostar, and we see some, as of recently, familiar faces on Toxin, because they've been getting some good uh, stream time here. And they're about to face off in and, and yet another one of these uh, matches against, again, mostly rookie team against a uh, more experienced one on the other end. But in any case, over on the casting booth, I'm Palador, uh, being joined by Skinny at my side, and so much for subtlety over on the cams. Skinny, what's going on? Uh, hello, hello. Just taking a quick look at Toxin's impressive rap sheet. You were talking to me about it, but just looking at at their basically perfect season so far, just really losing to um, high voltage um, to th in three rounds. It's really impressive, as, as you were mentioning. Probably one of the best um, newer, best rookie teams out, out there. So definitely interested to see them um, see them play and get to cast them for for my first time tonight. Yeah, I, I think for both uh, Skinny and Celti, maybe their first look here at Toxin. Of course, there's so many teams. Uh, I feel like we're probably going to be saying this every week. Uh, there's right right up until mid-season and end of the season, I'm sure there's still going to be teams where uh, it's just it's uh, hard for you know all the casters to know everyone because of, what, 140? I think closer to 150 teams at this point. Uh, didn't do a recent count the last couple days, but I know in week two towards the end, I think it was uh, 149 or somewhere along those lines, active teams. So uh, that said, we are indeed going to ready here shortly. So uh, the teams have been informed that they can start as desired. Meanwhile, in about 25 minutes from now, give or take, depending if this goes to three rounds, uh, we'll have Synapse facing off against Creamy Milk. So Creamy Milk coming off that game with zero, uh, taking that loss and trying to make up for it here against Synapse in another half hour. So definitely stay tuned for that match as well. So here, just about all teams are about to press ready up. So, yeah, what, what do you ex um, what do you expect? What do you think, Palador, that Toxin has to do in order to take um, Protostar and take possibly even even take the set against them? You know, but yeah, no, knowing knowing Zesper, knowing already, knowing Five Spotted Dog, they're, we're talking about some veteran players here that have been here a while. So what? What does Toxin need to do in order to break that defense and that offense? Well, that's a good question because I i haven't seen, so I've seen several Toxin games. For Protostar, they've been casted, but I haven't actually uh, gotten to watch them here collectively. I know, again, some of this personnel, obviously, I, I know from Season 1, uh, really, everyone uh, besides Really Reels, and if that happens to be a player who just changed his name, someone do inform me, but, you know, Zesper, RDG, Five Spotted Dog, you know, recognize them, of course, from other various community leagues but uh but yes so not i'm not quite sure what to expect uh from their play but i do know from what i've seen on toxin side of things they have done a very very good job on the defensive end especially you know uh, for the offense they position very well and yeah for the defense there uh, it was a topic in that last stream a little bit i touched on it to one of the chatters and twitch just kind of mentioning you know positional play dive defense rotation base uh things like that and that's something that Toxin has, in fact, shown to be pretty well capable of. And yes. quick shout out as well to Sir Dimwi saying, Toxin in three, Palador, Toxin in three. Oh, he said that last time it went to three. It wasn't Toxin, but it was close. So this time could be the case again. Toxin looking to return here with a win and impress the stream yet again. And going to the midfield as a neutral joust is now off. And here we go. Definitely a great, great start for Protostar here. Just... Definitely what I expected to see, but what I did not expect to see is actually Toxin being able to respond and actually go for the three-pointer. Light has come with a great shot by Singularity to take the lead. Just what a great shot and great positioning from Light has come. Light is bright in the goal, lighting it up there for the first few points. Definitely one of these standout players, but really that's the case for a lot of these guys. So uh, Light has come though, making his, himself known as kind of a, a great stabilizer there, and he's uh, really accurate on those shots and. Uh, does an all-around good job, kind of a uh, all around the floor, really. Yeah, now Protostar trying to respond to that, just um, 
great start for uh great start for toxin and now protostar trying to slow it down going for a deep pass but actually another great interception what a great stack f cameron trying to pass it to his teammate singularity but just a little bit off the mark but doesn't matter um toxin definitely on that stack taking notes from sir dimwi who i think has been <laughs> yeah dimwi has been casting uh or casting has been coaching uh, a bit here with a Toxin, just giving him a little bit of general advice. And you see that from a lot of the veteran players as across the league. I know multiple of the uh, the Joker players have kind of gotten invested uh, in casting, or there you go again, coaching some of these teams. So it's always nice to see. Now that shot's gonna be off on the three as it does ricochet backwards towards that top pocket and jumping for it is RDG going down to the floor and trying to drop it down from the ceiling but shot uh, being taken out there by Light has come and now outside the goal there's Zesper diving out another quick fling Echo Camera now the retrieval and the uh, clear right through the midfield as the stacks do come through with some ferocity some velocity and singularity getting the fifth point so as Skinny tends to maybe some mic things, well, we're just gonna continue going on with this uh, this matchup, but I'm sure I speak on his behalf as well as Subtlety's behalf over there in the abyss where he lurks the cameras. Uh, that this is a pretty good start, a pretty impressive start. And you can kind of see see uh, just how collected that uh, this rookie team seems. Now that said, really reels with that disc right back here. So four. A proto star trying to get on the scoreboard still, but a lot of time to spare. I mean, 725 left here in the first round. That said, uh, giving up the disc and possession here to Titan over on the uh, blue team. Toxic. Yeah, rookie team, maybe, but just absolutely playing amazing right now. Just not absolutely being faced by playing a more experienced team and just trying to get some passes off, but. Um... Protostar able to get a good punch. Zesper now trying to equalize with a great three-pointer to make it a two-point game. Toxin still in the lead. There we go. That was a nice hit from Zesper, putting the zest in the goal. Yes, sir, Dimwi, as it's a five to three game. It's on the joust advantage now here for Toxin. First time in this first round. And let's see uh, how they decide to roll out, shall we? Teams entering the arena. Titan with the disc. He's going to go for that immediate pass to Light. A light going to be contested there. It gets punched, but still tries for that soft pass. Looking like it will still get to Cameron eventually. So Echo checking behind, going up front, but will roll out to the uh, barrier, or ra rather to the bubble. And now to the barrier, there's Titan just walking it in. Very nice on the passes. Yeah, great initial save by Five Spotted Dog. Unfortunately, just constant pressure by Toxin. Eventually, his, his shield is going to run out and and Titan was just able to walk it in to again extend their lead to a four-point game. And uh, just what he's saying there, on that a couple plays ago, uh, can't give Zesper those open lanes. He's got a sniper arm. Oh yeah, Dimween uh, knows us just as much, probably better than anyone else. Definitely a super talented player there. Offensive hot shot. But here's the offense again, trying to go in for Protostar. And they get the goal to go. Five spotted dog right on the spot. So on uh, this launch out again, it's a two-point game. Right back at him is the talented offensive skill being shown from Protostar. You know they weren't going to uh, stay down for too long. Down dog. I don't know. But right back into the mix here, trying to uh, launch out offensively. And a good stun there. Zesper, kind of a delayed uh, defensive joust, was able to get the disc, but not for too long because Singularity is just the same, getting a stun off, uh, but thrown right back to five spotted. And now Protostar again in the offense, great positioning by Really Reels allows them to bypass most of the for most of the Toxin defense. And now they're again just in no rush to uh, push it up here, just trying to thin out that Toxin defense. And now Five Spotted Dog again on that reset on the bull tie. Goes gonna go for RDG who just misses the pass in the bubble and Toxin is here uh, set to recover it and clear it. Now a uh, loose clear just sailing past him. Five spotted, he's gonna get that right back just as the stack approaches uh, with some brutality. Uh, but Singularity gets the disc looking for that clear and will bounce all around into the corner before eventually retained by five spotted once more, going to the floor and almost into the goal as Titan now gets the disc back and needs to anchor that down and try and swing it out of there. Yeah, and Echo Cameron and Light has come ready to get that clear, but Singularity is able to get it and now a great clear for him. 
And now Toxin and Reboot are gonna try first to get to it, but Reboot does seem to have get in on the stack first, and RDG with a great clear. And just below the grasp there of a couple different players for Toxin, but still getting it back is Titan. They had a lot of time to spare. Uh, as always, I'm, I mean, I'm assuming they're muted for the stream, but uh, yeah, the comms, very, very good from Toxin. Just uh, really patient and well-positioned. And I mean, how often do you even see uh, rookie teams willing to stall like that? That said, doesn't play off there because the stack was looming and five spotted. Oh, he's going to get a grooming. Good dot on the shot. Eight to seven. Yeah, great bait um, there from Pardo Star. They had one stack ready to pressure, but then they had the other one to intercept the pass and just not allowing that pass to be made or even be received in the first place. So just good job on them, man. Good punishment. Now, Pardo Star definitely on the lead now with one point and Toxin definitely able to recover from this one point deficit. But Zesper again just denying that again, going for a long three pointer, but just a little bit off the mark. Yeah, I see B-Love in there too, saying, hold the disc for the rest of the game. The only other shot, Toxin was kind of doing a little bit of a B-Love on there, you know, waiting uh, waiting for the defense to approach before dishing up the pass. The problem was that the defense still had a second uh, secondary stack there, and that's why they were able to get that back on that other possession. You know? uh, but, you know, using the right ideas, here comes the offense again, maybe for Toxin. They're going to get there. Uh, with barely any time, and Zesper taking it out there, uh, snaring it, shooting it, maybe sniping it again, but just off to the side. Still a rebound attempt, uh, but the punch is coming through now and gotten back now for a Toxin here on blue. Yeah, a little bit of <laughs> misfortunate placement of the disc is going to put actually put Toxin on the back of their goal, allowing Porosa to put pressure on Zesper on their goal, just not, not allowing a reset. And now again, Singularity being pressured again by Protostar. Not just going for the clears, remaining calm and not, tr and again, just great, some great passing play, not allowing them and clearing in the last absolute moment. So good play on Toxin right now. Well, that has a chance of going in almost. Uh, we'll get right back to Artie and Co uh, over here at the goal, getting stunned out as well. I like uh, on the other side of the floor too, there's some good defense from Zesper. He was really playing that back pass, uh, back passer. And you know what? Zesper's still back there and goes for the nice three point hit right on the side. It's 11 to seven. That's a big shot here uh, late in this game. Yeah, definitely good lead for Zesper. Just absolutely noticing that the goalie had nothing to anchor on so he could just shoot it and Singularity could all just but watch and have that three pointer going. All right, Titan with a disc here. About 90 seconds remaining, a little bit less in this first round. The immediate retrieval there. That needs to get rid of that. Does find that pass zipper lining it here to Singularity. Singularity approaching, but a very, very tough angle as two different defenders collapse right on him. Oh, but a good grab here now from Echo. Cameron, so Cameron will not get it. And unfortunately, now one minute left. Yeah, Singularity now need to push a little bit to just need two two-pointer scores to be back in this game and bring it into overtime, but he did not have much time. And now Protostar with another great clear, gonna waste some very critical time for Toxin, just making their life really, really hard right now to come back and tie the game. So already with that immediate cross pass, nice recognition, some good comms, no doubt here for Protostar. A five-spotted dog from that floor, looking up to the shoulder, but uh, some good coverage here defensively from Toxin. All the meanwhile, Zesper taking it back, looking right for that pass once more to the floor to the backboard, but will not be on board, not for that shot at least. And 25 seconds remaining, and it's looking like round one uh, will go here to Proto. So yeah, as we reach that mathematical time, just good job on Protostar for not being keeping their mental game up and just taking this first round um, just by a little bit actually and now toxin definitely i think this is the first time experiencing a team that is able to adapt to um to their offense so now we're gonna i think we're gonna get to experience how toxin is um, ability to adapt to a to a good team yeah well that's kind of the story i would say this is the first week kind of, in a sense they de definitely uh, you know, had had uh, their task set out ahead of them here. It was not going to be the easiest mountain to climb, of course. Anytime you're going uh, against players who have been in the game, involved in the match, or in, in Echo Arena, yeah. that is, just for Definitely. Not extended a... amounts of months, you know? It's difficult. Yeah, I correct myself. Not a good team, just an experienced team. So, hmm. yeah, all these players are incredibly experienced. Just, they definitely know how to change their place in the middle of a round. So, 
Yeah. Um, I think it's a, it's a great learning experience, and hopefully they can take the second round and bring it on to a, a third round because they had the lead at the beginning. So it's just all about um, perfecting their fundamentals and just executing their passes correctly. Yeah. And more consistently. Yeah, absolutely, and it will. Uh, they're definitely capable of doing it. They I mentioned, uh, you know, they faced off against uh, Gold Diggers, another one of the very very impressive uh, rookie teams that we're seeing here in season two of the RML and. Toxin did take that uh, victory there, just narrowly. It was a very close game. It was a sweep, granted, but it was 14 Starting to 12, in. and then 13 to 10 uh, in that series versus Gold Digger. Uh, earlier 10, in the week, they faced nine, off. Toxin faced eight, off against High Voltage, and again, seven, though they dropped that match against again some experienced four, players from season one, uh, they still made it a three-round series. So it would not be the first time that you know Toxin has started off maybe a little bit slower than they would have liked against some experienced players, but. You know, just as much as any team, they can maybe come back here with a very successful second round. We'll see. Yeah, what a start. Jousting for Toxin. Unfortunately, just a little bit off the mark. Allows Portal Start to get another great clear. Now Toxin need to get back and definitely on point on those stacks right now. Just able to get first on that disc. Not even close for Portal Start. But some great pressure for Portal Start is going to make that disc loose. And as Dimly was pointing out in the chat as well, yeah, double OT in that... Uh, gold diggers game and single OT in round two as well. So three different OTs essentially in that match. Super exciting. Uh, obviously here though for Protostar, they're not going to want that. They want to close this out in two if they can. Nothing else. We're talking about that experience level as uh, some re-grabs on the disc come through multiple times. But Protostar, they definitely had that nice a bit of a comeback there in round one and just kind of shut out uh, Toxin for the rest of the, the match after those first few minutes. So they're definitely capable of uh, having just this closeout too. And with some nice stuns, there's Zesper and the pass over to Artie. Yeah, Protostar maybe going a little bit overboard with those passes actually just, you know, they're right next to the goal. Just shoot it, guys, shoot it. Um, definitely creating a lot of mayhem. Toxin just correctly, just not, uh, um, not, spreading themselves out too much and another great punch from life has come it's gonna allow actually toxin to recover it and another great slap it's gonna get, put it on the side of portal star yeah and if i recall correctly too in that high voltage game as well i think one of the struggles for toxin is that they were playing great defense but uh, they really did struggle on getting the clears at times that was kind of what uh, set that game apart especially so if they're able to get the disc onto this side of the floor that'll be all the better for them because i already know that they're uh, pretty dang good on the defensive end yeah, look, just look at that speed. You usually don't see these speeds that, um, on newer competitive players, so good on them. But really, really real is able to capitalize on that. Another great pass, but Echo Cameron just, what a great jump off. But unfortunately there, Five Spotted Dog denies that great clear, and really real with a nice bounce shot for the first two points of the round. Yeah, we got that first goal took about two minutes but softly off the backboard really reels with a really really nice uh touch off that back so once more finding themselves here at the joust advantage but the grand disadvantage and trying to offer that rebuttal is toxin titan with the disc the launch and gets it over down to uh his man on the opposite side singularity as well very nice passes across the cross that said a little tough catch and eventually taken. Look at all this scrambling. I'm very surprised at the fact that they still have this disc right now. So uh, Titan does take it away now. He's going to roll up the floor. Four different players now, and all of them here for Toxin, just kind of on the bottom. So the spacing maybe not quite there, going to make it a little bit tougher, especially with that Protostar defense approaching. Uh, Light has come now, getting stunned, and Titan just it behind no look style over to really reels who intercepts with just back adam is titan again there's still a goal there uh, uh goal lead five spotted dog kind of sitting awaiting watching all this unfold and now he's gonna dive out of there and look for a uh, pass over to ness just barely losing that one the scramble continues to be on and titan finally dunks it in uh, took another minute off the clock but it's a tie game yeah a lot of missed passes going on around but just Toxin able to capitalize on that and tie the, make it a tie game. Just a good around, just stopping power, just stronger stopping power we're seeing from Toxin. Just, not just absolutely giving trouble to Protostar right now. All right, so that uh, interesting launch out here, going to play it patiently. We saw this a little bit uh, earlier from Toxin as well. Now that said, getting rid of that disc pretty fast. And oh my oh, goodness, it works. Oh, wonders. Oh, that's unfortunate. 
I'm sorry, completely calculated, really real. Really real. <laughs> really. <laughs> I see what they were going for there. They really was actually clearing him for the fact the fact behind him, just ready to intercept it, but just even better, just why not score a three-pointer? And now Toxin definitely <laughs> Tough, tough situation to be in, but just not too late. Five minutes to go. It's a three-point lead, but Cesper oh, just gonna make it a little bit harder. Not a great shot. 23 meters out makes it a six-point game. Just makes it a little bit harder. That one is definitely calculated. Great shot by Cesper. Oh yeah, that was shot with some intention, and it got exactly the results that he expected. The, the results that Sir Dimwi, I know, expected. You see, yeah, the, the sniper shot from Zesper, uh, super staff saying that in there as well. So, uh, Zesper again, is he going to do it twice? No, going to wisely back it out, or at least attempt to here on the pass. Uh, kind of allow his offense to hopefully set as RDG does retain. Yeah, Zesper trying to get into position, but just great pressure from Echo Camera, not allowing Zesper to be too comfortable behind that goal, just creating a lot of trouble. But that allows High Spotted Dog to try to get here, and RDG. All right, on the goal, he's able to do a nice close two-pointer to extend their lead to an eight-point game. All right, so after the first what, three or four minutes, only a couple goals, it was a bit lower scoring, but then all of a sudden, Proto Star starting to blow up and going supernova. Did I use that correctly, didn't we? I don't really know, but nonetheless, they've gotten hot here pretty quickly, and suddenly it's an eight-point lead. So, uh, quick shout out and thank you as well to Luke, subscribing with Twitch Prime right on time. Thank you so much in the clutch. And right now, with the magic touch, it's Zesper getting the disc off a of steal, off the punch, has the goal exposed, but a little bit too much to the left there. Rebounded anyway, shots, and he found it. It's 13 to 2. Zesper doing it all. Yeah, playing just a little bit off the mark, but definitely not a. Definitely not a game loss, it's just high call right now for Toxin. Just a tough situation to be in to come back to. Not impossible though. Just this game, definitely momentum heading towards Protostar right now. That's so hot that it makes the dogs even bark. It's Titan with the disc here, and uh, he's gonna launch out, but needs to be careful because look, that stack immediately prepared. That back line, uh, a stack that you were calling, you know, for uh, Protostar, offense or defense, they're there. So you know the Singularity is allowed to walk in and uh, almost juking out that Protostar player, but just right punched out just last second. And now again, Singularity gonna try to jump up with players, but not amused his Protostar with a great punch and clear. All right, so Zesper somehow maneuvering through all that defense, that, uh, just flying right by him. But that said, the disc does get knocked loose. It looks like here will be an opportunity for Titan and for Toxin getting a bouncer of a clear back into the other side. But RDG playing that back line, knowing that if they maintain some good control, uh, they're going to be good to go for the rest of this round. Of course, Light has come with a disc now, and they have some other ideas in mind. And uh, now Toxin with some great passing, just some great leads going on from the team, and a great juke by Titan, but just a lot of... A good pressure from Really Wheels allows him to punch out actually two Toxin players, able to recover it, and another great clear for Proto Star. Yeah, just great work. Uh, I mean, the passing was very nice up until, uh, as is usually the case, you know, it, it works great until the one that doesn't. Uh, that's, it's, it's, it's the difficult uh, part about the passing game of Echo Arena because you can make six perfect passes in a row, but then it's just the one that kind of messes you up a little bit. Uh, Zesper, very Seldomly has he messed up in this round. I mean, he's been uh, the hot hand for sure. But less than two minutes left, Skinny. And uh, yeah, it looks like Protostar in some good control. Yeah, definitely in the position they want to be in. We are reaching that point where no matter what, Protostar is going to take this second round and set. So just just all around impressive play for um, Toxin, even though they have lost in two. Just impressive, just impressive passing all around and stacks from Toxin. And uh, to the bottom here, the floor will be taken back over. Now by Toxin, they're going to get stunned. And yeah, I agree. It, it's, you know, obviously again, the results that they don't want, but still super impressive on, on the whole as they constantly are. Um, no shame in losing to teams like this and experience like this as they go for a pass that just barely misses. Back to the sidewall now with one minute remaining and it's light has come trying to avoid the defense from above. Yeah, definitely 
I think we can both speak from experience, however, just it's unrealistic to play, to expect to win um, oh. against such a highly, uh, bit, uh, more skilled or more experienced team than you, but just talks and giving out everything, some really good passing, and really are displaying to show they can put up pressure up to these more experienced teams. Yeah, nothing else that really does serve as just a good measuring stick uh, for any rookie team. Anytime you can get these opportunities. I know this one, this was an opportunity that they, uh, they welcomed. This was a challenge match, I am 90% sure. So uh, definitely props, you know, for the challenge, props for trying to meet these challenges and just giving themselves, you know, good, again, measuring sticks to go by so they can uh, really track that progress over the season and kind of compare to these players who have been playing it for a long time. And really, at every opportunity, they've been doing very well regardless of, uh, you know, win or loss or otherwise. So yeah, that is gonna be round two and set for Protostar. Yeah, just all around, definitely got their more controlled play, more controlled clears, and yep. stacks to take the second round. That was good. They, I mean, they they got those stacks, that, not only the single stack, but even the, those delayed stacks, the, the secondary stack that's always really effective uh, at times for, for catching those uh, players off guard. And, you know, you think you avoid one, and then suddenly there's the other from the back line coming out of nowhere with some speed. Uh, you have the crazy good effort offensively there from Zesper. I mean, you know, 12 points in those in, uh, two rounds and a lot of those shots just, again, absolute bullets right through space and finding the perfect placement on uh, on a lot of those shots more often than not. So not only that, I mean, like 12 points, 43 stuns for Zesper, uh, five points, two assists, five spotted dog. And he had a RDG with a very... Uh, Symmetrical game, just about. I mean, two points, two assists, two saves, two steals. Unfortunately, not 22 stuns, but close enough, 30. We had uh, really reels with the five points. One assist and 27 stuns going there. Over on the Toxin side, it was four points for Titan and two for Singularity. Three for Light has come to go with his three saves. Then Echo Cameron with the three saves, just the same, as well as the 13 stuns. And uh, that will indeed conclude this match but it's not the last one because starting up real soon which is to say right next it's going to be the return of creamy milk uh after that zero game in an hour ago and yeah creamy milk facing off against synapse so uh, be right back with the next cast Hey everybody, welcome back. Told you it wouldn't be too long. We're about to start here with our next match, which is to say 
a synapse and creamy milk. So we're winding down this evening with yet some more familiar faces, especially here on Creamy Milk. Uh, familiar in the sense that we just saw them in the last hour, hour and a half, something like that. So uh, unable to get the win there against Zero earlier on. Was still a very fun match when uh, right up to the third round, as has quite frequently been the case. We're seeing a lot of these overtimes. We're seeing a lot of these round threes so far this week in multiple streams, multiple matches. Uh, and for, yeah, those people at home viewing this, watching this, um, maybe playing Echo or considering getting into VRML, this is about in line with what you can expect. You know, once you get those initial matches in, uh, it gets, you know, the matches because of the ladder system, it'll, it'll get you these exciting ones. You know, it's not going to be a case where you're facing off against just the uh, elite teams of the league for the last one to three years when you're brand new. doesn't happen. You know, with 140, 150 teams now just about, get involved in VRML. doesn't matter what your experience level is. Uh, you can expect some very fun competitive play, whether you're looking to be kind of hardcore into it or just treat it a little bit more casually, like, you know, a rec league. Come in for 30 minutes twice a week, play your game, leave, and you're done. All the flex scheduling, all that uh, goodness to just be conducive towards uh, more participation. So, yeah, got to get those plugs out of the way, I suppose. But, you know, a lot of people joining, and it's for good reason. Uh, but that said, I have a good reason to divert from that, and that is to say we've got ourselves a start of the first round. So on the stream, once again, I'm Palador. Uh, Skinny had to momentarily uh, take off, but we'll see him again for the past about an hour from now. So much for subtlety, still here on the cams. Uh, immediately, not so subtle on the joust at all. It's Chrome putting it home for uh, the team here on Synapse. And that's a nice way to start. Only five second goal. Uh, very few times will you see a quicker one than that. Great start. Uh, someone, what, what, what's all the highlighted messages? Eh, I had my, my Twitch chat window closed for a moment, but I'm seeing a lot of potentially uh what, what do you want what do you want from me alley dad no none of that uh leo the great with a disc here trying to work it up the floor getting stunned out though kind of a double stun double knock out and trying to slap out and oh panel points oh good just answering uh the questions that's what i like before makes sense very helpful if not a little bit extra but you know what the question has been answered so andy w with a disc here Coming in and back into the roster for Synapse, and Synapse, for that matter, back as a team, which is a say by name, trying to make their name known, but the goal not quite on. That said, a good stun here coming in. Uh, we'll retain the disc now, so uh, Dotcom there will deliver it up high, right back to him, and right back to the bottom, and it drops. Uh, Shepard couldn't quite get the, the save. He almost had that, that here. one. And not all too pleased about that, but as we know, you know, as a goalie, uh, I say this as a high-level goalie. No, I'm not. No, I wasn't. Never was. But those things hurt. You feel like you're owed the save, and then it still gets powered through anyway. Always wrong. Uh, but that said, Zach W here, he's going to distribute over here to Andy W. So Andy going for the candy. That was sweet. Chrome gets it again. Six points. Gift rat assist from Andy. Just directly in front of the goal. In front of the goal. And those are uh, incredibly hard to save. Whenever you can get those catches that are just right next to the goalie. I mean, there is very little chance to save that. So I see the... Uh, Twitch chat there, all active and engaged. Rocks will be 100 bits. Five spotted dog with 100 bits. So thank you to Rocks Titan for finding the time to uh, offer the hype. As right now, that shot, well, not quite as ripe as they wanted it, but the second one just the same. Third shot attempt. Will it be in? Yes, it is. Allen, six to two, finally on the board here for Karimi Milk. Also, shout outs to the rest of you Seven, fine folk six, in the chat. I guess the 100 bits four, were for Andy three, specifically from Rock. Two, <laughs> and let's go Synapse for the other 100 bits. Coming in from uh, five spotted there. See Dennis the Legend also hopping in. See Luke as well. And Kung. 
And again, thanks, Luke, for that sub. I didn't forget you already. Don't worry. I'm not that goldfish brain. Meanwhile, though, getting stunned and uh, losing the disc out for a little while, going to eventually the hands here of Chrome, but not for too long because there's a lot of hands being thrown. Uh, meanwhile, up here, trying to get the disc back and maybe stabilize a bit. You can see uh, Andy in the back line as well as Mr.com himself. It's self. Uh, .com, that distribution to Andy. Andy right back to Zach. Zach doing what he does and what he does so very well across the seasons, across the years. Bringing defenses to tears. So it's eight to two, six minutes left in this first round. See Ryan uh, popping in with 10 amazing bits. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, remind me, Luke says he needs to change his name. Why? Who, who, who are you? I'm trying to remember all the names of uh, these mismatched Twitch names with uh, you know, the RML players. There's several of them. I'm trying to remember. Dennis Legend saying shout him out. I already did. We'll shout you out again. And that was a nice shot again from Chrome. That's his, I think, third goal of this game. They're up to 10 points on Synapse. And yeah, Chrome has at least six of them. Uh, one of those shots had been almost saved by Shepard, so no credit going to one of the Synapse players. I think it was Andy. Not positive on that, though. But either way, Chrome contributing more than half the scoring load thus far for a Synapse. The thing with Synapse is we know their offense is just devastating uh, at times, and for sure. You know, they'll, they'll have their rhythms, their ebbs and flows, just the same as pretty much any team. But when they're going, they have some devastation for that offense. Like, they're Bruh. speaking up. I mean, that's what, I, that's what I'm saying. You know, that another goal here off the body of Callen. So, once again, will not be credited to Synapse uh, player, but it will be credited to the team for their 12th point. But yeah, just that amount of devastating offense you have on a team here, like Synapse, and then pair that with their just crazy good defense. I mean, they were always a, an excellent uh, defensive team, but they really turned it to not just another level, uh, a few different levels towards the end of season one and it really since then they've just continued to be pretty ridiculous on it i mean it doesn't matter whether it's like that bubble defense it's the stack the double stacks uh, they're just very very efficient and aggressive yet so controlled right now trying to control themselves for another goal but will not go leo the great tries to sling it through to the tunnel and eventually punitive the man the myth the meme the legend of the screenshot game as of late. And uh, Chrome now backing it out to .com, sitting there in the back lot. He's gonna work that up and uh, very nice patience being shown there. Uh, get the pass over and the shot goes over. That's 15 quick points. Just uh, like nothing. And guess who converted that one? Of course, it was Chrome Platypus. And that's uh, right back, goes to what I was saying. We already know on any given game in season one, more often than not, you have either Andy or Zach just popping up for, you know, 10, 20, borderline 30 points, depending on the match. And then you add a guy here, you know, Chrome, with that devastating shot, and then the offense coming through as Leo the Great uh, does get a two to go, so it's 15 to four. But yeah, it's just, there's, a, there's a lot of uh, powerful tools going in the way. Now, of course, for Creamy Milk, the thing is, we mentioned this in the uh, match against Zero, that great match we saw about an hour, hour and a half ago. Creamy Milk is a team that can really pile up the points as well. Uh, they are, again, a bit of a different roster than Season 1, uh, with Shepard and Callan being the only remainders, and of course, Shepard was kind of a late join in Season 1. Uh, Zach here going up for another one, couldn't get the conversion, so instead Callan trying to take that away, but gets it stolen away with a good punch, and Zach, well, not going to miss twice, it's 17-4. to four. But yeah, just to touch on, uh, touch on Creamy Milk, uh, again, those last two victories that they had prior to that zero game, I mean, they faced uh, Chaos, another talented team there, Gold Diggers, one of the talented quest teams, one of the top quest teams, rookie teams of the league. And Creamy Milk came ahead, scoring uh, nearly 80 points in just four rounds. So, uh, between those two matches. So as a Zach, speaking of matches, they're continuing to light this one up on fire, but yeah, Creamy Milk is not a team that can be held down on the offense for very long by very many teams. Uh, right now, only being held to four points, but this was the case with a zero game as well. If I remember correctly, uh, the first round, was 15 to five favoring zero. So only five points for Milk, and yet 
uh, come round two, it was a milk win. And uh, they scored somewhere up there in the teens, uh, I do believe. So, you know, it's right within the realm of reach, even though this match is starting to get out of reach in round one. Uh, for Creamy Milk, they can definitely, you know, build something here towards the end and hopefully take that into the next round and, and show what they did an hour ago and try to force a third. At the moment, though, really, it's just a matter of them trying to stave off this mercy attempt. It's getting pretty close. Uh, but here it goes, Leo the Great trying to distribute that one, but another good defensive launch here coming in from Synapse. They're eventually going to get some grabs on it, but uh, Leo the Great, clever maneuvering, maybe not crafty enough, and almost on the shots, will be right off the top, and uh, taking it off the wedge here as well. Just a couple players there uh, getting some stuns in, uh, looks like Zach. So showing some good mobility, as is often the case, but that said, some very good hands shown from Kalen as also is often the case. Mention him and you know, his just uh, three-dimensional type gameplay where he, he's really a strong player. Looks like Zach here. But yeah, Callan, one of those uh, players who can pile on points in no time, three-point shots, bank shots, tough angles, two-point shots as well. And, and he is definitely no slouch in goal. Still remember, there was, there was a point towards the end of season one, I... I suppose, quote unquote, mistook him for a goalie when I was pointing out how known he is for being a good goalie. And Twitch was very quick uh, quick to correct me and that he's a very heavy handed offensive player. But definitely, it, even in the goalkeeping end, he's shown to be a very, a very sturdy, stable defensive hand. So, a little bit of everything there. Of course, you got Shepard here on their team and began enjoying their late in season one as that shot is almost gone. No mercy. And Shepard also, a longtime player, famed hey, for those great goalkeeping skills. Hard. Uh, all right, I so this first round does indeed end a big, big win coming in from Synapse. Uh, pretty much, yeah, just a statement win, 23 to 4. Uh, able to just take that fairly decisively. And yeah, we'll see in round two if uh, Creamy Milk can have that, that second round show up like they did against Zero. But it's definitely going to be a battle because Synapse. Uh, much like Zero, much like uh, any of these other teams right here at the top of the, the league at Master. Uh, they're going to be a handful to deal with. So we'll see how they react. But in the meantime, just taking a look at some of the scores, it was 11 points for Chrome. Having himself a very effective round. Uh, not only high volume, but just high accuracy. Also had the 13 stuns. Zach contributing the 8 points just the same. 2 assists, 1 save, 20 stuns. Uh, Mr.com, the commissioner, with one assist and five save, or stuns. Meanwhile, for Andy, three assists, one save, and eight stuns. And I think at least one, maybe maybe two goals taken away from him because it went off of, uh, of the uh, milk defenders. <laughs> so I think he has some points on the board. But uh, Callan on the other side there with two points, three saves. Leo the Great with two points. Shepard with a steal and five stuns. Punitive with an assist, save, steal, and four stuns. And now we're going to force one back here towards the cast as we begin round two. And uh, initially here, it's going to be, well, eventually, I should say, taken by Synapse. Zach W uh, needs to be careful here. The, oh, no. Reverse dunk right through the traffic. Three different players forming up all around him and somehow still. Maneuvers right into the perfect spot, throwing it in. Good shot. More shoutouts. Meatballer in there. I don't know why I shouted you out. I'm still awaiting your legal papers that you said you were going to sue me because of that spaghetti logo. I didn't forget. I was told not to talk to you. Welcome to the stream, I guess. And then yet another shout out to Dennis Legend, just because I feel like it. Uh, the short loop in there, Spire, and it will be a Shepherd with the clear. Off that a grab. The little Red Wolf as well. And Princess in the chat, and that is that. And right back on the back pass to X. XX.com. XX.com. Uh, with a disc over on the side by the pack. Just going to drive it up and over down to the hands there of Chrome. But look at that great save by Shepard. Mentioned his defensive propensity. And, well, it's at full display right there once again. Had some good saves earlier in the day as well. Callan here taking the disc. 
and will try and look for his teammates, waiting for them to kind of join him on the front line if possible. Um, all the meanwhile, Synapse not giving them any kind of rest or any naps, I suppose, as uh, they do try and work the offense in. But no, a turnover instead, so Andy W getting the collection of the stack, able to recover that one. A very, very, oh my goodness, crazy shot from Zach. That was just brilliant. I don't even know what else to say. That barely squeezed by. I don't. That is a ri Six, ridiculous shot. Five, four, that just three, barely two, tickled the corners of the barrier. Somehow found the backboard. Somehow found the goal. And by somehow, I mean, well, of course, because, you know, that's kind of what he does. If there is an angle, Zach's going to find it. He's going to he's gonna make it. And he's going to make Kelly go, whoa, or what? So Callan here. Uh, trying to contest on the other end. A nice short boost from Chrome. And in one smooth motion. The little boost, the grab. And the offense. Eight points here. Start off round two. For, uh, not Creamy Milk, Synapse. Creamy Milk, though. Got to kind of uh, lock it down if they can. At the moment, they're just being locked down with that zero uh, still. And it's just tough. It's tough. You watch the scrambling defense here. And I, I say scrambling not as if they're disorganized, but just the aggressive defense from Synapse. And it's kind of hard to say. You know, how do you work around something like that? Well, maybe with a shot from the back. That's how. Hell, 101. No 404. That shot was definitely connected. 637 remaining. And that's a good hit from Callan off the bounce. Those they asking about when uh, Shepard being on milk. Yeah, since about, I don't know, I would say week 10 of season one, somewhere in that area, as Zach goes in for, look at that. Not a week 10 at all. That's a very strong 10 points for Synapse. Don't you love it when things fall together? Uh, but anyway, yes. Shepard and uh, Callan, the lone returners here on uh, milk, creamy milk. Leo the Great, he was on, not Guinness, Gambit. Punitive, uh, new to league play at the very least, but definitely making his face known on some imagery lately as Andy. With the imagery, the perfect picture, perfect drive. Assisted by Zach, it's 12 to three. 12, 11, 10, 9, Punitive, 8, I really do like 7, him. 6, Nothing else, because Han is in the name. 4, 3, Impossible for me not to admire. Speaking of, Hello, Spire. As Kellen tries for that uh, passing play, but Chroma's just going to cut that off. Zach from the bottom lane has a couple of cutters really fast, but they're just going to back it out instead. A nice rectangle uh, here forming. You can see Creamy Milk trying to play fairly aggressively on the defense, do a little bit of what Synapse has been doing, uh, but not able to get that through. So does need to get the clear, and Leo the Great does just that, trying for maybe a leech here on the stack. Uh, another leech here from Kellen, but a leech right back. So some great grabs. You can see that those reflexes uh, from both these players, Callan and Zach, were just grab after grab while still denying the stuns and trying to get a shot off. But look at the aggression again. There's just uh, nowhere to go when it comes to those passes. And that's what I mean. How do you work past a defense like that? It's so tough. But nothing less. They're going to try, but there you go again. A pass off to Shepard. I mean, he's immediately stunned. So they're going to try a pass up here and finally finding a lane. So one missed assignment is all it takes. And great job from Callan, assisted by Punitive, to uh, meet the quota on the shot. 4.26 remaining here on the clock. Hi, Spire. Welcome back to the three. I remember the, if uh, I recall correctly, from Onward Community, right? Right, I think. Pretty sure. You and uh, Control Flirt Delete had showed up about the same time last time. If I'm wrong, well, shame on me. But anyway, over here, we Shepard with a clear trying for that bounce uh, off that tunnel. We'll kind of bowl around there before eventually being uh, collected. Oh, maybe. By Zach, I might take it back. He's a little bit outside his reach, eventually meeting the momentum, but it's... A little bit longer of a delay than I expected there initially. And uh, Andy trying for a clear. We'll just bounce up and down and then back again. Uh, Andy, another tap out over here to Chrome. Chrome, is he going to make it again? No. Been the hot hand, but finally missing one there as Andy does rebound. And Shepard 
Another save, a beautiful tap one. And I like that from Shepard. You know why? Uh, anyone who's watched these streams lately, it's been such a ridiculously common theme where you get these great saves, but then the offense immediately grabs the disc right back and dunks it. So I like the fact that maybe now uh, goalies, the great goalies of this league, starting to adapt because it's been so frequent these fir uh, first few weeks that so much of the time you really have to be aware of just getting the tap out and not holding onto the disc for even a, a tenth of a second longer than you need to. Uh, but anyways, over here, well, they don't need to, but they want to, and Chrome angles with the goalie there. 14-5, to five, and he scores yet again. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. And all right, I was right on Spires and... Uh, and some apparently yikes worthy comment. No, don't leave me. I, I, I need you. Okay. Uh, over here to the bottom of the ramp will be taken by Callum. We have two minutes and 26 seconds left at 14 to 5. So all around, still a, a better round for Milk. Again, not a team that you can typically hold down for long. Most teams won't. Uh, it's just synapse have been very, very stifling. What more is there to say? Well, Shepard, I will say that was a very good save, swooping in at a very timely fashion as it does bounce off that bottom corner and just uh, trying to get that through before the punch. All the meanwhile, all the players here kind of floating aimlessly for a bit before they finally get their stacks. A nice catch by Zach, a bounce by Zach, a shot by Zach, and a shot of adrenaline as they go again for another goal, 17 to five. Synapse and Zach, what did we say? What did I say? If there's an angle, Seven, Zach's going to find six, it. Five, got that measuring stick three, out. He's got that simple geometry. It's simple game. geography, even. He traverses the arena like no one else. It's amazing. The other way. Amazing. Uh, but over here will be up top two. Leo the Great and Leo is going to back that out here to Callan. Callan, one minute, 23 seconds remaining. Uh, some good passes back and forth. Got to be careful because of that stack, as always. And... Uh, trying to accommodate for it by throwing it a bit high, kind of with a, with a purpose there, but a, again, just the tough the catch. Uh, there's a boosted Andy, I think that is, in the front line. Yes, indeed. About to get that off a side wall. Punitive there to bother him, and does so successfully. So Punitive with the disgusting brawl on Andy. Uh, doing some good work. On the other side of the floor will be punched out here. Zach and Leo kind of double stunning each other. Retained by Dotcom. Com, looking down the tunnel, finding that open pass, finding an open goal, finding the three-point shot, and again, they are now up to 20 points. So for two consecutive rounds, looking to really start pushing it here into those 20s. Uh, maybe a chance at one more score for either team. 30 seconds left and about to end here in the second. So uh, with, uh, yeah, the clock winding down, it will... Uh, be a bit of a rough day here for Creamy Milk uh, through no fault of their own for sure. Just, you know, tough matchups and especially that match against Zero again was very, very close. Could have gone either way. Uh, against Synapse here, really playing on another level as Pro continues to level up the shot after shot. And yeah, he is up to uh, 21 points on the series in these two rounds. So, offensive fire being shown without a doubt from Synapse to go right along with that defense, which is uh, right up there with the best, if not maybe the best defense in the league. Uh, it's there, There's a lot of uh, talent up there, but I, I don't know. What I see from their team, particularly in the defensive end and particularly in the bubble area especially, is pretty uh, bonkers. I don't know. That's, of all the words, that's the one that came up. Um, but yeah, doing a good job there. And, you know, for Creamy Milk, not the uh, week they wanted, obviously, here, but as I said, it's not going to be a surprise to see Creamy Milk still remain there, you know, in the Master Division. And in Season 1, they were right up there in the gold uh, the entire season. And it wasn't by mistake, it was by design and on purpose because of their great uh, skill and team play. So, with that said, let me divert myself to the schedule and possibly the chat if I have time. I always have time for you, chat. Don't worry. Um, all right. So, yeah, our next match is not for another half hour. All right. So, yeah, that'll be there is no team facing off against Reboot. And that starts at the top of the hour. So about 33 minutes from now. 
And of course, for those who might not have seen, Rad Nathan joined the team, the tent that is, there is no team, just a few days ago. So joining a White Dragon there on the roster as the uh, two Rad developers playing here in VRML, along with uh, Gygasm and Light Toast to round out the crew. So that'll be fun to watch. Really glad to see Rad, in a manner of speaking. So definitely tune in for that a little, little bit later. Now for everyone else there, as I see the chat's pretty busy with uh, some familiar names. Got, well, mainly Rosie and Rox, as well as uh, Andy stopping in afterwards with the toxicity towards Rosie and or Rox. Why so toxic? Rosie Rosie carried Synapse pretty hard in, in week one. Did a very good job, I do say. Uh, who else here? We got Le LeBron. I'm not going to finish the rest of your name, but welcome, LeBron. Glad that you're a fan of Echo Arena. Welcome to the stream. Mr. Guesty saying, what is the next team? Uh, probably a little bit late on that. But yeah, uh, there is no team facing off against Reboot once again. See Shepard slash Danimal with the GGs in there. And also the Princess AGs in there answering the question for me. So I didn't even have to repeat it because Princess, as per usual, always on top of the questions and answers. Always, always. Um, Jake EA stopping in saying hello, everyone, as well. Hello right back. Okay, so I think this will probably do it for now. Uh, Spire spending points just to spend points, saying GG's. And yeah. All right. So again, 30 minutes from now, there is no team versus reboot. Be here or or don't. But I'd like you to be. And until then, I've been Palador. That's been so much for subtlety on the cams. Uh, be happy, healthy, safe, and good to each other. And we'll see you again pretty soon.